Okay, I've managed to get out again today. And today, I'm at Orton Head in Harvardshire. Right, on the edge of Hitchin. It's just east of Hitchin. Well, really is, literally on the borders of Hitchin. And uh, Hitchin is about 35 miles north of London and about 10 miles east of uh, uh, Luton. And I'm not far from a video I did before at Pegston Hills, which is about two miles that way. And uh, that somebody sent me a private message uh, to say, you know, you've done Pegston Hills, not far from you is Alton Head, why don't you try Alton Head? So, uh, or might be of interest to you, I think was the exact words. So I've come down here to see what we can find. So we're actually walking now towards Hitchin. I actually came in from the other end. There's uh, from Ickleford, which is a village on the edge, outskirts of Hitchin. There is uh, a little lane with some parking spaces and I thought that might be a better location to park in, which I think it probably was. Right, okay, here we go. So Orton Head, Orton Head Common, North Hertfordshire District Council, um, countryside management services and there's some sponsors down there as well so we are here so and we're gonna head down we're gonna head down this way somewhere so there isn't a cloud in the sky today Saturday when I went out one of my videos you might have seen not sure which way I'm walking now. It's pouring down my rain. And that's the Duxford video that's up online. And uh, as I said, just up the water is beautiful and clear. I don't know if you can see that. Beautifully clear water. I think that may be all the rain we had. I think we had a heck of a lot of rain. Yeah, as I was saying, um, the Pegston Hills shots that I got were it's literally about two miles uh, west of here, west sort of southwest of here. So probably less than two miles actually. So we're in the same sort of area, even though this is Hertfordshire and the Pexton Hills is in Bedfordshire. My face is in complete darkness here. Let's turn around this way. That's better. So So another one of my great tips coming now. And it's from experience, I shot, from my videos that I shot at Duxford, I lost about an hour's worth of video. And that was because I didn't check the video as I was going along. So always check your video. If you've got a little viewfinder like this camera has, uh, check the viewfinder. If you haven't got a viewfinder, play the video back to yourself um, and just have a good look. Because what happened was, um, it, we were all blurry, they were out of focus. And I couldn't work out why they were out of focus at first. For a minute I thought to myself, because they got soaked on the Saturday, this was on the Sunday, but they got soaked on the Saturday. All the, uh, the whole kit did, because it was raining. And I thought maybe it was a malfunction from the lens or the camera. But then I worked out what the problem was. It was only this morning when I went to set the camera up, because another one of my tips was set the camera up before you go. Well, I went to uh, clean, there was a mark on the screen. And because it's one of those screens that you touch to focus on that area, I was cleaning the screen while the camera was on and the, it was on the very edge. So it set the focus point on the very edge of the screen. So it meant that every other image after that was out of focus. And that was probably, it was an hour's worth of video out of focus. So it's one thing, always check that out. So I think we're at the other end of the nature reserve now, because what we have here is a farmer's field. And uh, Oh, 
Right. I can see maybe a moody shot down here. Let's spin you around. Water's a bit stiller here. I think it's moving. It just doesn't look like it's moving. And uh, it looks quite still here. It's uh, it maybe quite a challenging shot. So all of the sort of river overhang and the uh, um, the bits of sort of dead wood in the water and that uh, might make quite a moody shot. So with the water and a bit of reflection on the water. So I am going to try that shot and see what, what I'll do is I'll get the camera out and do what I usually do. Okay, so I've got what you might consider to be a, uh, a different composition here today, uh, different from the norm anyway, and it's quite dark in here, so that's going to make it a challenging picture. But what I'm going to do is bracket it, that'll give me a little bit more dynamic range to work with, so it'll be slightly HDR style image. So where the settings are, we've got it at two seconds, because, um, again, because of the darkness, that's what the meter's giving me. Uh, we'll use an F10, we could probably come down to F9 or F8 if we wanted to, but F10 will keep it sharp. ISO 100, so that reduces the amount of noise in the image, if any noise. Mirror lock up, which I shall do next. That's the mirror locked up. We're running at 35 millimeters on the 1635, so we're about as narrow as we can get on the 1635. Let's take the shot and see what we get. Yeah, that's looking good. Great, I shall put that on the screen now. Okay, so that's the first shot out of the way, or in the bag, or in the can, whichever way you look at it. Um, let's head, I'm gonna start heading back the way I came, back through Autumn Common Lake. The wind's getting up a bit now as well. So let's have a wander back. And uh, see if we can find another location. So I think I've found a rather special location, or certainly a different location, that I maybe wasn't expecting to find here. A waterfall. A waterfall of sorts. Hey. Still a bit wrecky here. Let's see, it's just a, I'm going to come back with some wellies to this location because I think the best shot is going to be in the water. And uh, I've just got some canvas shoes on now. I'll just get soaking wet feet. But what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to go and get myself some lunch. Go and get me wellies. I always keep another tip for you. Keep your wellies in the car. <laughs> so I ended up taking quite a few pictures down there actually. I quite enjoyed it, about an hour and a half. But I didn't take the video camera down because I know what would happen. The video camera and the big camera, I'd have ended up slipping into the river so I thought I'll leave the uh, I'll pack the video camera away and come back to you once I've got the shots in the bag and of course you wouldn't hurt anything down there it's really noisy by the water so uh, I don't know what the hell that is some kind of whistle somebody's got a loud whistle um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the pictures now
so yeah so I'll just show you over here anyway while we're here that's what the waterfall is in case you wondered I'll put the Xeon crane away the batteries have run out on the gimbal so I've got the good old-fashioned way the gorilla pod at the moment which is can be just as useful the gorilla pod in some situations it's a lot lighter to carry I know that much but uh, I just don't think you get that still image that you get from uh, um, the Zoom crane so yeah if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe maybe comment down below uh, hit the bell above and I'll let you know when uh, my next video is coming out get involved um, I've got an Instagram account and a Twitter account and um, I'm always pleased for the comments and I try to respond to every comment I get so and, um, and I'm enjoying it again I'm enjoying it